Welcome back, Cobble Collectors and Diecast. I'm to get to another episode of Crimson Garage. I just have a new take on the uh, Snake and Mongoose uh, castings, uh, specifically the ones from 1970. There's the color book. Um, so I always believe that they were the same casting, that the they were both the same. Even one was supposed to be a, a Barracuda. The other one was supposed to be a duster. Um, but if you look at the front ends, you'll notice that the um, Kuda has just a one little slight little kind of divider there. And the um, Mongoose has that big rectangle right in the center. It also has those two red dots just outside of that rectangle. And if you look at the book, you can see more like what I'm talking about in detail where there's just a chrome splitter between uh, each side of the grill. And over here, you have the big rectangle in the center and the two red red lights. So definitely a casting. For the most part, they are very similar. Also, on the rear ends, um, if you can notice that the... Um, Barracuda has kind of a, a fat rectangle taillight and the Mongoose has longer thinner um, taillights it also has these two little slots right there so the castings definitely are different however um, if you look it up, it says that the Hot Wheels kept the castings the same for cost cut cutting um, reasons, but um, I see that they're different. However, the um, I noticed that I saw a picture of the um, Mongoose 2 in blue, and it was this casting here. Uh, I haven't seen one in real life, but we'll go through the ones I have. And again, these are 1970 original red lines. Um, there's a movie out you can find YouTube on mongoose and snake, and it's pretty interesting. Here's so here's the um, 1971. Um, snake and mongoose 2 there's the snake same casting it's just white enamel it's got flames there's the domper dome snake 2 and of course they both open up they have that plastic stand there's that tail lights I was talking about they look a lot better on the, the white and so you can see the difference in the castings. Um, also, I noticed those little slots aren't on the mongoose too. And at the front end looks the same. see where we're at with these right here these are um, castings are the same you can see with the, the writing on the the snake how the bottom uh, I guess bumper kind of curves and the mongoose one's more straight longer goes end to end where this one kind of stops um, in between there. And these are from uh, 1995 um, Coke limited edition. Um, and you'll see that they have the um, vintage stamps on them. So 
So I kind of want to talk again about the snake. Here's a another variation one I have. It's missing the side stickers. Um, so 1974, they um, released the casting as the um, Top Eliminator in his blue flying colors and Then in 1978, the Hemi Holler was released, also using the same casting as the Snake, and this gold, and it has black wall wheels on it. Then. 1982 was released as the Radical Racer. And this has like some kind of plastic um, interior there. So that's different. Black wall wheels. Really cool racing tampos on there. Then 1983, uh, it was released as the Street Machines, kind of like 1973 when they, uh, for cost cut, cutting measures, they um, all the Hot Wheels were enamel. In 1983, they weren't all enamel, but they released, uh, they weren't called Hot Wheels, they were called Street Machines, and they were just Hot Wheels um, with enamel paint jobs, no tampos, nothing, pretty plain. Um, and that's what, and they're pretty rare, as are the 73 um, enamels. So I picked this one up, as you saw in another video. I was pretty excited about that. And that's what uh, kind of had me stoked to do this video. So there's um, five different models from the same casting. Again, I think there's a snake or a mongoose. In this casting, but I have yet to see it only on a only on a picture. Um, so now that we got through those, that's mainly why I wanted to make this video. And um, but since I've got your attention, I'm gonna go ahead and um, just kind of go through the rest of my collection. Let you guys check them out. I'll uh, talk about them a little bit. Left off with those. Going to go on to the Hall of Fame castings from 2003. There's the Mongoose. Nice black paint job. And it's the same casting, it looks like. Here it is. The snake in chrome. Then um, I've got a bunch of um, bunch of um, of these reissue uh, vintage ones that are out nowadays they're all just they all have the vintage on the base just different colors nice blue enamel one doing all the mongoose ones first because that's the one I have the most of there's a pink spectra flame and 
Here's a blue Spectre Flame. And onto the Snake uh, Vintage. I don't know why I end up with so many um, mongoose, but this is a classic yellow enamel. Here's the hidden green. And let's see what we got here. Here's a This is a 100% mongoose. Kind of looks like the uh, the old models, the plastic models. That definitely a different casting. There's a, a vintage um, reissue Snake 2. The red lines on these are so dark you can't even see them. And this lighting here's the Mongoose 2 reissue. Then this is the um, army um, army funny from 1978. And then here's the Pepsi Challenger from 1982. Same casting. Different paint job, different tampos. I don't know why they didn't make a mongoose one, but um, maybe that's why um, instead of uh, the Army Funny and the Pepsi Challenger um, 1979. Um, Tom McCoon, Manga's got the Vet Funny, here's two, kind of different shades of gray, Next, I have um, here are a couple of um, rail dragsters, very fragile as they fall off the spinner. Here we go. There we go. One other one. This one's uh, a little bit different. Shade of blue. One in the middle looks like kind of a more of an ice blue on the rear end. And then this one over here. So again, those are from 1971. And we have the um, rear engine snake rear engine mongoose both with red line wheels in the back
there's the um, gonna bust out the 24 karat gold snake and mongoose there's the mongoose there's the snake as you can see their front ends are different these came in a nice little case and apparently they're 24 karat gold and I think that was from 2003 so nice couple of pieces to have in the collection And of course, um, the haulers that uh, are so popular now. Kept those in the case. got there's a couple of um, that's funny these are actually collector numbers 90 and 91 limited to 8,000 some nice little dragsters there didn't realize that that's what those were Here's a limited edition NHR um, Army Funny Car. Here's the Hall of Fame Mongoose. Guess I'm gonna need to get the snake at some point. And at the end, just for the heck of it, there's some customs Volkswagen with the snake and mongoose treatment pretty funny since I'm a bug collector as well and then last got uh, something for everybody there is a Nice snake. Um, and uh, we got a mongoose. We'll put it next to it. So we got a couple there for you. And there you go. There's your snake and mongoose um, diecast collection and info. Uh, I just wanted to share with you. I know I made a video before, but this I just realized that those casting, mostly about the casting the snake, uh, casting how um, 
it isn't the same as the mongoose and also um you know the other castings that they used it for so anyway happy hunting happy saturday and have a great evening enjoy and uh, we'll see you soon